Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing my latest purchase from eBay. For many months, I've wanted to purchase a Tyco Milwaukee Road E8, and I finally found one at a reasonable price. I managed to uh, win the auction and got the locomotive. So we're going to be having a look at it today. I'm pretty excited because these are not super rare locomotives but uh, I've never actually seen one in person and uh, it's certainly something I've always wanted to add to the collection so yeah I'm uh, really excited to get to have a look at this thing so let's open it up and see exactly what it is I got Oh, <laughs> fantastic. And there the locomotive is. Just look at it. Absolutely fantastic. I, I love the uh, the old chrome. On these older uh, HO locomotives, they really made them stand out, and uh, I, I just love it. Anyway, uh, here the engine is. I'll show you all the box quickly. It's not, you know, particularly exciting. It's kind of interesting, I guess, from a vintage standpoint, but let's see what the locomotive itself actually looks like. And this is uh, copyrighted for 1977, so I guess that's when they released this locomotive, or at least made this box, I'm not sure which. But anyways, here is the locomotive. I think I accidentally uh, popped off one of the truck covers, but that's not too hard to get back on. There we go. So there it is. It's such a cool looking locomotive. This one's in uh, terrific shape too. This thing hardly ever had any miles put on it. I can already just tell by the wheels, they're in really good shape. You know, most of these old Tycos you get them like they're looking pretty rough, but but this one overall is 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 pretty mint. Other than the fact the truck covers keep popping off. Anyway, why don't we bring this thing over to the track and see if it actually runs? I'm I'm not so sure if it will or not, because uh, just because an engine ha you know hasn't been run is is not necessarily a indicator the drive's in good condition, because. Uh, like a, a car or anything, it needs to be run every once in a while and contacts can oxidize and lubricants can dry out. So it might not run. I don't know. Let's go test it out. I'm kind of blown away right now just by how good the condition of this locomotive is. I mean, most of these Tycos I've seen, you know, are really rough, but this thing hardly has a scratch on it. Absolutely incredible. Anyways, let's give this thing some power and see if she'll go... It actually does run pretty well by the looks of it. Wow. That might be the best running Tyco I've actually ever seen. It's so quiet. What a beauty. Okay, normal Tyco stuff. Um, really know why that just occurred but maybe i should throw some oil in the gearbox almost seemed a little too good to be true a tyco locomotive running perfectly right out of the box oh well it's just amazing just how clean this thing is on the inside okay so maybe this thing did have a few more miles on it than uh I initially thought because uh, there's certainly some dust and stuff and other things that shouldn't be in there. Well, I got rid of whatever was here. I'm actually thinking there was supposed to be some sort of a fabric pad possibly to lubricate this bearing. I've never seen that before on a power torque, but either way, I didn't really like it because it was fraying and getting caught in these gears. So I just pulled it out and it looks fine. I don't think it really needs that. Anyway, I'm gonna add in a little bit of grease. 
it's all uh, everything's in you know pretty good shape on this model so I'm not too concerned about it uh, give all of this a good amount of oil and I think that that will hopefully uh, fix the weird noise issue All right, let's see if that made a difference. I believe that that has done it. Smooth as silk. Well, I think at this point we may as well go get some freight cars and uh, haul some of those around. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Let's look at that. It does not seem to be a terribly great puller. I mean, this is not a very long train and it's not having it. Maybe the traction tires are dry rotted or something. I don't know. Well, folks, I think that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed unboxing this thing, and I'm overall very happy with this new locomotive. But anyways, I think that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching.